So I call this a chocho diet because the bulk of what we're eating is chocho. This fruit right here. Today is just me in the kitchen and Kenny sweeping, doing her thing. Great, babe. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to show you one of our favorite recipes since we're on a diet and this here is the magic trick to our diet it's called a chocho diet so a chocho I don't know what you guys call it in your countries but this is what it looks like it's mostly composed of water so it's the it's very high it's a very high content of water and very low content of carbs or anything else really so there's really no nutrient to that in this thing there's not much nutrients in it so when you're on a diet it fills you up but it doesn't contribute to it doesn't contribute any nutritional value to your diet really it's just a filler there's hardly any nutritional value to it so this is what we're doing already chopped some this up this is what we do the and my water is boiling, so I chopped it up. So basically, water just frozen. This is what it looks like. It's like uh. It's like apples. No, it's not like apples. Not Actually, like you apples. can eat eat it raw. It tastes good. It's crunchy, but when you cook it, you want to try it. <laughs> Trust me, try it. Try it. And tell me how you like it. It's crunchy like an apple. See? You wanna try a piece, babe? I know. Babe, try it. Babes. <laughs> She's never had it raw. She's never had it raw. But somebody told me you can eat it raw and I figured out that it is true. Babe, oh, you can't be in the kitchen with me right now. It's too small for both of us. Oh, sorry. You can come back, but not with the broom, without the broom. So that's one whole chocho, just for me and Kenny, because Veronica, she don't eat, you know, diet stuff that we make. She wants her noodles or pasta or whatever, so. So when are we gonna have the chocho and what? We're having the chocho with vegetable, like sweet peppers, green peppers, yellow peppers, red peppers and tiger shrimp so that's what we're having it with and um bok choy or pak choy whatever you guys call it so the chocho is gonna boil for like how many minutes do i usually boil it for 15 minutes you're asking me mm -hmm. you're asking me. i've never done like an instructional video so i don't know <laughs> okay so yeah, i think i'll boil it for about just 15 boil minutes the chocho and when it cook it cook yeah when it cook it cook <laughs> But you don't want to overcook it, make it taste like you're eating water. You still want to keep some crunch in it, right? So I'm going to de-shell my shrimp, my tiger shrimp. The you don't get the water yet? Or it's in there? Oh, huh? it's in there. Sorry. You're having my coffee? Having Which coffee is this? That's my coffee, the one that... Daisy gave me. Hmm. You, you didn't try it before? So why that pot covers on this? Oh, why that pot? Oh, you're using a different pot. Yeah, I'm using both pots. Can you turn the fire down, please? Okay, so this way or medium? Yeah. Okay, so that's way too high. I don't like this coffee. It doesn't taste. I love my coffee. Let's go Raptors. Oh, the Raptors game is tonight. I love Golden Stable. I'm cheering for Raptors. I want Raptors to win. You know what? We. She's gonna torture me tonight not. with that game. Remember last week when they won? Last couple of days when they won? Everybody was going crazy on the street. There was noise everywhere. It tastes so bad. Your face looks so dark in this video. Alright, so 
you're okay with this. So I'm gonna just take a shower and ready for the ruptures. Let's go ruptures, let's go. So I'm just um, de-shelling and de-veining the shrimps. Babe, can you do me a favor? Can you take all the onion and the sweet peppers and stuff for me? I'm sweeping this. Babe, you're always sweeping. Just take them out for me. What do you want? I need sweet peppers. I need... Why do you guys not have a fix by the fridge? You're supposed to look. You took me to the man. Just take out onions in your pot. It's supposed to be card in... Oh my god. Like, what do you want? Where's the onion? It's in the bottom. In that thing, yeah. And I need the red pepper and the green pepper and the yellow pepper. Do you need this too? Yes, I need this. Oh, this is... What is this called? A bok choy, chop, pop choy, whatever. Bok choy or whatever it's called. Oh, whatever. one fell out. Sorry. Yeah. Green pepper, red pepper. Green pepper, red pepper, yeah. orange, yellow and pepper. And that's it? No, I need um the onion and that's it, right? Onion yeah. and garlic and ginger. Everything garlic? is in that bag. I don't need ginger, just garlic. And it's um. In that bag. Oh, I need um uh celery. Here, how many pieces you need? I just need one piece. Oh, there's a broken piece. Take that piece off. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's fine. I'm having this coffee that my friend gave me. <clears throat> it's really good. It's um cinnamon. It's so freaking good. Hashtag not sponsored by the way. Hashtag not sponsored by anybody. <laughs> yeah, it's really good. I love it. So you guys can try it. So I'm done with my shrimp. It's like, there's like um, 18 pieces of shrimp in here. Babes, you know, so I'm gonna sweep the kitchen already. Okay, all right, I think. I'm just gonna add some black pepper. I'm gonna come back to the kitchen. Ooh, that was way too much black pepper, shit. No. That's why I don't like to buy the black pepper in the bag. I just wiped some of the black pepper out because I don't like too much black pepper in my stuff. Talking about black pepper, I didn't take out any pepper. Well, Kenny didn't take out any pepper. And I'm using a uh, spicy top all purple seasoning in here. Oh, you know what I didn't put in the water salt for the chocho. I'm just gonna add a little salt to, salt to the water. <clears throat> yep. All seasoned up. So I want to chop up some pepper. Only half of this, by the way. but I don't like it too much. Some garlic, cloves. I crush them and then I chop them up. garlic I mince it finely onion I don't mince it too much 
I just chop it in large chunks. I just add a small stick of celery because I don't like too much celery in my food, but it gives, it adds a great flavor to it, so it's all good. However, this goes in a separate plate because, uh-oh, it goes in last because I don't want it to get all cooked. Pepper. I'm not using all the pepper. I'm just using enough where Kenny can get a few pieces. I can get a few pieces. And that's pretty much it. I put that on the other plate with the celery because that goes in last. Red pepper. Just a mixture of peppers, really. And I chop them up in squares, like large squares. Or I'll show you when I'm done green pepper all right so the chocho they're pretty much done to where i want them so what i'm gonna do is blanch these in the water with the chocho so I won't cook them I'll just blanch them oops so I'll wash them cut them up blanch them can see that and I'll just blanch all of them in the water with the chocho try to have any leftovers yep so I'm just blanching them in the water I already turned off the fire so the water is just hot it's not boiling or anything it's just hot yeah the water is the fire is off now so it's just blanched in the hot water and then I'm gonna drain the water off that So the scallion I put it in last with all the peppers and the celery because I don't want it cooked I just want it to give the pot flavor so I mince it up and put it last with the peppers doing here while I'm doing it so 
I have the peppers, the celery, and the green onion or scallion, whatever you guys, you guys call it. So this goes in last because I don't want it cooked. The onion, the pepper, the garlic goes in first because I fry those to flavor the oil. And then I put the shrimp in to cook. And here's the blanched um, vegetables and the cooked chocho. I'm gonna drain those off while I cook these. I didn't turn the fire on oh this is a pot she's been complaining about how long I still have it nothing's wrong with it it cooks food perfectly fine and she's still angry at me for the pot but guess what the pot stays because I say so whenever I'm cooking vegetable I always put this in there not just vegetable I use it in like meat and fish and whatever but vegetable I put this in there for sure it adds flavor it has a little salt in so i don't need to add extra salt from what i already put on the shrimp so i put olive oil first i'm mixing that with margarine it's not much just olive oil and margarine really give the rest of the food a great flavor once everything goes in because the flavor has to come from somewhere I don't put this sauce in yet because I want to allow the shrimp to cook a little bit first so I stir fry this until they're halfway cooked just halfway you don't want them to be fully cooked because when these go in they will need to cook for a little bit too. My nostrils burn like crazy right now. And it smells delicious. You know that, sh that smell of shrimp frying? Imagine it. It's really awesome. So I let it cook just for a minute. Just to get it cooked through for a little bit, not too much. While I do that, I'll just clean up the mess that I made in the sink. in there to cook I 
Oh, when I say these go in last, I mean into the cooking. These are actually what goes in last because they're already cooked. Yeah, now is the time to put some of this in there. Put it in my spoon. You don't want too much of it, just enough to flavor the pot. Make everything gel together. Oh, and my, my heat is actually on medium. It's been on medium the whole time. But this is very hot stove, so medium for some people will be hotter than some or not as hot. Medium on this stove is like, I don't know, extreme. When I tell myself I'm not gonna use a lot of heat and I decide to use medium, I remember, oh, this medium is so much more than normal. So the vegetables, they're all coated in all those juices from the shrimp and the oyster sauce. Oh, it's called oyster sauce. I never even said that that I just put in there. I'm gonna put it on low heat at this point. From medium to low. Let it simmer for like another four minutes. While I clean up. coffee yep so if you guys haven't subscribed yet to our channel we should probably start a cooking channel <laughs> I'm just kidding I don't have no time for that <coughs> so if you guys like what you're seeing on our channel make sure you subscribe don't forget to do that and let us know what you think about our recipe for this healthy option for dinner. Yeah, it's a very healthy dinner option because the chocho is, we call it chocho, I don't know what you guys call it. This thing here. I don't know what you guys call it, but that's a chocho for Jamaicans. It doesn't have a lot of carb at all. It's a very healthy option. It's like a vegetable. It's a fruit, but it's like a vegetable. There's no sugar in it. There's really no carbs to that. It's just really, really low on carbs. It's more healthy than carrots, if you want to put it that way, but not as nutritional as carrots. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, so me and my wife, we need to lose weight. So I've been implementing a lot of healthy stuff into our efforts not to put on any more weight because Oh, you guys watched the video where we, she was talking about she's getting fat and she, because she got married and ooh, let's take a look how tasty is that now you put everything in you mix them around make sure all the juices combine and add flavor to the chocho and the pop choy. delicious I can tell you that it smells heavenly babe are you ready for dinner what are you doing what yeah I'm turning off the stove at this point because it's all cooked nothing's left to cook in here it's all cooked 
it is all cooked like there's no cooking left to do in this thing it's just like all cooked yep and there you have it I'll wash the dishes while I wait for her to I don't cover it after I'm done because if you cover it steam is gonna formulate in here it's gonna get watery and you don't want to lose most of the flavor to water so leave it open <coughs> excuse me leave it open so it doesn't gather too much steam so I call this a chocho diet because the bulk of what we're eating is chocho this fruit right here which doesn't contribute a lot to your nutrients that you are intaking so there's really little carb but what we do is we use this for many different in many different ways you can stir fry it with chicken and vegetable you can grill the chicken stir fry the vegetables eat it on the side with your grilled chicken or your stuffed chicken breast like what we always make we still make our stuffed chicken breast we'll eat this on the side with stir-fried vegetables and um, you can also put it in your soup whatever you want to put it in you all good babe yep. tell him how much you like this recipe I love it she loves it every time I make it she's like babe why did you give me so little <laughs> right babe right. Yeah, she's always like, oh babe, I want more. Why did you give me such a little bit? Are you ready to eat? Mm -hmm. I see that. You know what? You guys can wash the dishes when you're done. Who? Who's you guys? Like, you guys? Babe, I cooked. I washed some of them. You can wash the rest. Babe, you can wash the rest when you're done, okay? 